of two reasons. The unsettlement of reform in the Supreme Court will cause health plans to have to shift and redeploy assets from their uh, focus on the individual market and sales. And the other uh, big piece of the puzzle for 2012 will be the focus on ICD-10, which will also cause a shift in where health plans in the past year or so have been focusing assets for technology and business. You know, the biggest uh, part of securing your infrastructure and standing your ground is, of course, doing more with less. Uh, there's a lot to be built out in technology environments to serve a consumer-based marketplace, which will arrive just no matter what happens with reform. There's a lot to build out to support and uh, achieve opportunities in ACO environments and other new markets. So the key to the infrastructure question to stand around, even move forward and find new ways to compete successfully uh, toward consumers and providers is to look at deployment of technologies in a more rationalized way and also begin to look at how uh, frameworks and architectures, new integration strategies in cloud can begin to uh, at least better manage and or reduce costs of the infrastructure to create uh, free up, if you will, money for new investments which are inevitable. Both will have to happen at the same time. of course that a uh, large focus of the improvement in the healthcare marketplace is all based on improvement in health and wellness and better outcomes for the care and disease management services and provider services that, that are rendered to a population. So the biggest investment of course will be on care, health and wellness and the analytic strategies that support improvements in cost quality outcomes there and also position health plans to support whatever version of ACO or quality based payment program or integrated programs that may be uh, also emerging in their local environments. I don't know if there is a way to prepare for another uh, wave of tur turbulence. I think uh, being very focused and clear on your roadmap and having a top-down strategy is going to be the most important. Um, it's easy to follow every trend all at the same time and it's not possible to do and still be successful. There are also some attributes within a health plan that need to be uh, extremely strong for health plan to survive in any marketplace. And again, care and analytics, integrated information, uh, strategies, compliance with ICD-10 and the like. There are about four or five different attributes, technology to business that the health plan needs to do very well and very successfully no matter what the market looks like. Uh, with a reform, uh, you need to take care of this and, and that would be the, the best way to focus your resources in a dynamic market because then no matter where the market is going to go, you'll be positioned to be able to respond to unique uh, market, market requirements and unique requirements in different regions. Focus, I think, would be the biggest piece of advice. Again, really, uh, just two things, actually focus in and being consistent uh, within your, your strategies and, and why uh, strategies are, are moving forward. Communications, I think, is huge. Uh, in this marketplace and, and the focus on, on the business and technology. And again, the second is going back to that, that previous statement is to really look at what will support your organization um, no matter where your, the market may go. Certain themes of quality-based payment programs, bundled payment programs, provider networks that are reimbursed um, for quality against quality indicators, be they ACOs or medical homes, strong analytics to understand outcomes and strategies to bring consumers and providers together to understand best practices and uh, create better, better outcomes are, are themes that are across every product that we might talk about, ACO or otherwise, in the past 30 years. And we haven't yet cracked that nut as a health plan, actually getting distracted for a particular type of specific ACO or quality-based payment program or value-based payment program um, could actually be uh, the death of a health plan. You want to create an extensible and agile environment, again, that can, can work through uh, a number of different market segments.